this is a Westing workshop. And first, let me introduce the team. Project. And then you have Flavio, who's going to be doing the model book. And he works with the set of IoT stuff. IoT <laughs> stuff and with the Mozilla Tech Speaker and yeah. community development. So, uh, first, the Mozilla Webplay is a software that provides a useful framework for creating an open source uh, Webplay and privacy. So the agenda for today, first we're going to talk about the IoT and the Web of Things. And it's, uh, you can visit the website iot.mozilla.org so that you can know a little bit more about it. And we have the flyers here that explain more about it. And then we're going to go for the microblogs with Matt and uh, model with Jack. Okay. Okay. So uh, as part of Mozilla's mission to keep the web open and safe, they created the WebThing Gateway, which is a framework and software that provides a useful uh, open source web things and it respects the privacy and security of individuals. You can use a lot of the IoT in the smart world. And can someone give us examples about the smart case that they usually use within their work? Like a thermostat? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Others? You can use it in the smartphone, industrial, medical, anyone is working on the IoT. Or. No? <laughs> okay, next. So here we're going to give some examples about the smart homes, and especially for the LED lights, uh, the sensors that are for monitoring. Uh, the distance sensors and that you can use every day to make your home smarter and this is uh, the example we're going to give today and what's different about mozilla smart home is that the typical vendor has your iot uh, the data on an iot cloud whereas for mozilla uh, for us there is no data and you create your own user uh, name and password for the uh, can you can you? So so your data is uh, basically all you need is a Raspberry Pi and your data is stored locally, so there is nothing that's stored on the cloud. Okay, so all you need for for this you need the Raspberry Pi, which you will have here. For us in this workshop, we're not going to ask everyone to uh, create their own uh, username and password. So you will have passwords that are here preset on the on the tables, but later you can use your own. And you can download it from the website. You go to iot.mozilla.org and you can download. And you, can, you have the micro SD card where you can uh, use it to, to create your own gateway. And uh, for the web domain, you can create your own. But now we're going to use this one again. <laughs> OK. And uh, the web things interoperability uh, is with everything for the um, Zigbee Wave and uh, Bluetooth. And then you can also, it's an open source community development. You can go to GitHub and you can join the conversation, you can join the code, and you can work with us on uh, the Mozilla IoT. And now uh, Mel is going to explain about the Things Gateway and uh, what type of sensors we can use and how we can uh, work on the. Cute. Okay. Um, so hi again. I'm Mel. Uh, so this is basically what you will see after you configure your Raspberry Pi. Uh, the first uh, picture shows the different sensors that you have configured. We will we will do this hands-on today. Uh, there's also an option to upload a floor plan if you have it in your home so you can uh, see which room has what sensors. Um, 
you can create rules. So uh, when, when it's 6 a.m., turn the lights on. When it's 6 p.m., turn the lights off. And this little fox is an experiment so far. It's a voice command. So you can either type, uh, turn the lights off, or you can tell him to turn the lights off, and it will respond. Uh, so as we said, it's, uh, it's without a middleman. You own your own data. Um, it's pretty cheap to set up. All you need is a Raspberry Pi uh, for the gateway, and then sensors. You can either buy sensors. Uh, there are pl plenty of add-ons for interoperability, or you can create your own sensors. Uh, okay, so these are two examples of uh, MCU boards that you can buy. Uh, I have them here. Uh, this is the Circuit Playground Express, and this is a micro bit. Has anyone worked on these before? Yeah, okay. Um, so, uh, they're pretty useful for educational purposes because, um, uh, so this one has a LED matrix that can be used as a screen. It has a motion sensor. This one has a um, temperature sensor, uh, uh, neo LEDs, um, and they can be programmed using microblocks, uh, and I'll show you how. So uh, this is how microblocks work. Um, so uh, it's it's an IDE. If uh, anyone is uh, familiar with scratch coding, it's just a blocks. It's really simple. Um, practically anyone can learn to use it. Uh, it's tr uh, transformed into bytecode, and uh, each uh, each MCU has its own a small virtual machine that runs on it, and it can run the code that is created with microblocks. Um, so uh, now I'll show you uh, the, the gateway and microblocks. Um, okay. So. Hmm. No, that's fine. So uh, we have five um, uh, Raspberry Pis uh, scattered. Uh, each one has um, a subdomain. So this one is jss2.mozilla-iot.org. Um, each one has a paper next to it, so you can check which one it is. Uh, so this one was created beforehand, but if you if you bring if you buy your own uh, Raspberry Pi, you can flash uh, the SD card with uh, with the, the gateway image that you can download, and then you create your own uh, credentials. So I'll just go here, uh, JSS two. You can you can also join. But sure. Okay. Uh, you can allow notifications because uh, you're the one who's going to create the notifications, so there's nothing that's coming from outside. Uh, so this is the menu. This is where your things uh, show up. These are where you make the rules, the floor plan, the settings, and... This is the smart assistant. Okay. Um, so let's add our first uh, device. So this is microblocks. Um, I did a small circuit here. It's just a um, node MCU and a LED. So a node MCU is um, Has anyone worked on these before? Yeah, one person. Okay. So uh, Node MCU is a Wi-Fi module. So it, you can turn pretty much anything into an IoT-enabled device because this connects to the Wi-Fi and uh, it gets assigned an IP address. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect this LED to, to my IoT gateway. Um, what was that? 
Mm. So uh, I'm going to open an example. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, add So it's 14. Two on. Uh, so when I click connect, I can see the port. So uh, I connect this to my uh, USB. <coughs> and I can see the port that I connect to COM3. Uh, so here I'm going to write the network name. So uh, the, the, the thing that I'm programming should be on the same network as the gateway. So the gateway is connected to a Wi-Fi called Mozilla. It's not the same Wi-Fi as uh, the, your laptop's Wi-Fi. So uh, I'm going to write the credentials. And I'm going to start. So uh, as you see, I get an IP address that's assigned to me. So what I'm going to do is go back here and add a device. So I will add by URL, and I will write the IP here. What's happening? The, the, the dream. Uh, no USB. Uh, um, uh, so don't don't connect them just yet. Uh, just uh, follow follow along with me, and then we'll have plenty of time to do hands-on. Yeah, so, uh, so I added the IP address, and then I'm going to call it uh, the red LED. So now I have the red LED. Hopefully, you can see it. It's off, and, and I can turn it on. Uh, so now I can, I, uh, I'm only connecting it for uh, power, so I can disconnect this completely. And it will still work. So all you need is just to uh, click uh, start on microblocks and it's permanently stored on your uh, on your device. So basically, you have a you have a central control center for all the smart things in your apartment, but you don't you're not limited to all the smart things you can buy in the shop. You can build your own with just a few uh, clicks and a few uh, with these microblocks systems. Uh, you connect them up. Uh, you set them up, and at that point when you set them up, they actually connect to your whole Wi-Fi and connect to the same central server that connects to all your the rest of your whole automation. So you're completely in control of the whole system. Yeah. Uh, so just a little bit more about um, microblocks. Um, you don't have to just use it for IoT. You can use it to program, as we said, uh, the other MCUs. So um, I need this. So I'm going to connect. OK. Uh, I'm going to open an example. I'm going to put Harry Potter. Uh, 
had to change something here. ما بعرف شو صار بالهجيكة هجيك خلينا نبلش يا اوكي so uh, does everyone have internet access yeah uh, so just go to microblocks.fun and go to download links. Everyone downloaded, okay. Everyone downloaded the microphone? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, uh, so now I want you to take the, uh, the Node MCU and try to connect it to, uh, to microblocks and let me know if there are problems. What's that? You have none of those MCU? Uh, no. I didn't keep him on the connection. I'm going to kill him. I'm just thinking about it. Do you have a microphone next to it? I don't know. Is it on me? This one's not working. This one's not working. Does it have uh, microblocks? Oh no, you have to flush it. I mean, does it have it installed? No, um, can you share? We, we had 11. This one? Huh. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're using the, the other one, but I think it's fine. No, this is the ESP32. This is the 32? Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you can use it. Let me try to flash it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to connect. I'm not sure what this is flashing. 
this but one? You, you, I have the one that you gave me, but I also have this one, which is like, it should work actually. <laughs> Oh, this one has uh, multiple. Oh, whatever. I mean, like, you can just flash it. Yeah. I'll, I'll keep it. I'll try this. Okay. test with this. Um, you need a wire. Banana to Anna. No. Eh, but it's the same thing. Ah, we need to take an example. But let's see. 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 Hello, Hello, Lad. Uh, when Virginia is here, Irene, Irene. Yeah, so, 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 you, you also have like uh, this here, and we also have speakers, and they are also involved with all the uh, Hello, Lad. 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 I Mozilla IoT. He's gonna give the example. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so just just open uh, Hello Hello Lens. Okay. Okay. Open. So uh, after you open Hello LED, just write in the Wi-Fi Mozilla and password Mozilla Web Things. Mozilla Web Things. Yeah, so here, Mozilla Web Things. Okay, uh, but, okay, have you connected? Oh, so you have a, a driver problem. Did it, did it light up when you connected uh, it? I saw a red light coming up and then... Went okay. Um, okay, yeah. So you have to download a driver. Okay. Um, can you go to microbox.fun? So, uh, okay. Yeah, Mac needs drivers. 
Okay, what's okay. the driver? Uh, just Google uh, Node MCU driver. Mac. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're gonna need it. Uh, you're gonna need a driver or. Okay, so you're gonna need a. Yeah, yeah. You have it. No. No. So you don't have any? That's mine. Oh, you have one. What is the micro bit? Yeah. yeah. So when we when I want you. Oh, that is? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I open Hello LED and connect it and start and nothing. Yeah, so this one um, actually doesn't, so this is an older model, uh, the so white one. Uh -huh. So you won't see it uh, unless you go to... Uh, oh. So what you, time, what you, time is for? I don't know. One. <laughs> so, so write Mozilla. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Mozilla, uh, Mozilla Web Things. No, Web Things? Just Web Things? Mozilla Web oh. Things. Did you not see the driver? Did you, did you uh, download the driver or did it work? Did it, uh, it just worked. It worked by yeah. itself? Yeah. Okay. Because so usually Mac. Uh, oh, oh okay. so something was happening. No, it happened. Okay. But, uh, okay. We'll wait a little bit. So you, you're not talking serial, we're talking through Wi Fi? Uh, now we're talking serial, oh, okay. but uh, I need to get an IP address. Ah. But it's not yeah, it's working. not working. Uh, do you see the Mozilla one? Yeah. It's working. Yeah. Man, the Tiglal man coming in the zero. Mac. You have to download. We can't see. Where do we get the driver for the Mac? Um, so you just Google Node MCU driver Mac. Oh, okay. Um, maybe you're, you're too far from the Wi-Fi uh, for, for this. I think it's not. Uh, okay. Uh, sorry. Yeah, do you wanna no. do you wanna switch play? Like, uh, go. Oh, maybe it's over there. Yeah. Uh, here should be okay, or should I go closer? Okay. I don't know no, yeah. because it's, yeah. it depends on this one. So. Is this what we need? Yeah. Uh, MCU driver. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think you can find it in a brew. Mac installation? In brew? Yeah. I mean, that'll work too, won't it? What do you type in brew? Do you have the command? Or hmm? Do you know the brew command? Or? No, but it should. Like, oh, here. Okay. There we go. Can you have website? Not the MCU driver Mac. I want to have a picture. To a small position. Not by a small. Did you did you download the driver? Uh, the driver. Uh, so, the driver. Um, so just know the MCU. Driver Mac. Yeah, yeah, this one. Where is blue? Oh, here it is. Okay.
Does it work? It works. Does it work? Uh, how do I come? Uh, yeah, so don't go to LaSalle, just go try uh, Mozilla and Mozilla Web Things. Okay, and click on uh, stop, then start. Okay, so now you have this IP address. Uh, go to your browser. Uh, go to js3.mozilla.io.t. Okay, yeah, uh, plus. And I add by URL and write, write the, the IP address. No, you can't copy. Uh, you can click here. Okay. 43.170. Okay. Submit. Okay, so here you can name it, change the name, just name it something you would recognize. <laughs> okay. Save. Yeah, save and uh, done. So this is your LED. So uh, it doesn't have a LED, so it's not going to do anything. Okay. Um, <laughs> do you have uh, something? Okay. So yeah, I I have actually one other breadboard and a LED, so we can connect to it. But uh, can you can you let uh, yeah, sure. the others try yeah. and? Uh, so what does it do? Then? So it's just not, now it's connected to the. Or do you have a breadboard on the LED so we can? Yeah. So I'll now I'll bring. See anything. Yeah, I'll bring the breadboard and the LED. But okay. but uh, it's successful. So now it's. So you can you can even um, access it from your mobile. Right. The same year. Same yeah. Yeah. Same. Uh, and you can. Okay. Hey. What's that? So you can even um, you can even oh no no you can't because you're not on the same network. But if you're if you're connected to the to the same network, uh, you can uh, write the IP address. Of this, and you can see right. the um, uh, the JSON. Okay. Okay. But um, you are right. it's kind of cool. yeah. so like when you do the group, ah. you get it. Yeah. Mozilla web things. Men ma, hvor langt er man i universitetet nu? Hvor langt er man nu kommet til at lave det? I think we're getting a problem doing the brew command because it has a mismatch. Um, oh. Uh, what do you call it? The checksum thing. Oh. Yeah. I'm guessing it's the university network. I don't know. Okay. Do you want to have a look at somebody who's got that problem and see if you? Yeah. I mean, we can try using the Mozilla Wi-Fi. Yeah. They can get the internet over there. Yeah. 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 بس يعمل حط اليوزر نيم والباسورد باللوج ان اه اه اي دونت نو يا سو نو ون واز ابل تو داونلود ذا درايفر ويل سم بيبل تراي تو انستول ات اني واي ديسبايت ذا ميس ماتشينج هاش اوكي ديد ات ورك يا يو نو هاف لايك سم ثرو لايك ديد ات ورك اي دونت نو اي هافنت سين ات اوه blinking red light is that a good thing <laughs> uh yeah but it doesn't necessarily make it. so can you still not see it mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so show us the terminal again the, mm -hmm. have you got it open still did the did the brew work or did you get an error brew failed uh, it's failing for everyone Question one. 
Yeah, yeah. this one. Yeah. I think we can manually download the zip and run it. Did you download the okay. website? Okay. Did you crash? All right, just, just. Uh, so, Mike, they, they're downloading without the brew, just the Silicon Labs. Yeah. Uh, you can download it without the brew command. Yeah, and there's a damage file that you can install. Yeah. The Ruby one, the Ruby command? Yeah. Uh, just SI Labs. I know that's you. People using Mac, if you are not able to see the COM port, you probably need to download the Silicon Labs driver. Sorry. Um, so, yeah. So this is too large, so I'm gonna keep the part outside. Um, so uh, the ground is here. Yeah, is I, yeah. You need you need an, uh, a wire. So D5 is actually GPIO 14. 14. Okay. Yeah. So uh, if you go here. Okay. Uh, go to uh, pins. And uh, set digital pin, uh, you drag it and you put it uh, under, no, yeah, here. So digital pin 14, two uh, variables, on, just drag it over the green thing. Okay, and now, uh, uh, yeah, just let me get a wire for you. Yeah. I don't think so. Uh, the unique name there. After you put the IP. Did you rerun the code? Because oh, we changed it. Yeah, so start. Do we, can we use this? No. No? No? Why? Why? No, because uh, the, the gateway is connected to the Mozilla uh, network. So we cannot use this to directly connect to the. No, the so, so the uh, sensors and the gateway should be on the same subnets. Oh, but okay. you can, but you can access. Yeah, so this one should be on Mozilla because this one is on Mozilla. But you can access the page from any network. Because it's a public page. Yeah. Okay. The, the URL is public, but it actually goes to that page. Yeah. That, that's why this we. This three dot Mozilla is actually this one. It's getting yeah. here. Okay. Yeah. But this uh, one you can access it from yes. any network. Yeah. Is that Posted publicly by the Did it work? No one, I can't see anyone getting working. This micro 
fit LEDs and that. Like, it's, isn't, is there an array of LEDs like that on this device? What is it? The LEDs. Yeah. Right? Isn't this device different? This one? Yeah. No. Like, it has an array like that? Oh, no, this, the, the microbit LEDs is different, but... Uh, oh, the, we're only running the left hand side. Yeah, so uh, if the device is a microbit LED, it will do this. Oh, if right. it's a CPX, it will do this. If okay. not, it will just light up the integrated LED. Yeah, okay. But... Uh, I can't see anyone getting it working, so... Yeah, yeah so some of them are actually getting it working, oh, okay. but uh, I just want to check if the people with the driver problem yeah, the sorted it out. Yeah, the showed them didn't seem to work, so... It didn't work? It didn't seem to, yeah. Yeah. Save. Yeah. Is it already added? Yeah. Is it the same IP address? Yeah. Okay, so you probably need to delete it. Yeah. Okay. So go here. Oh. Yeah, add, add by URL. So, there's two models of these. Isn't yes. It? The larger one is the one that's working without a driver. Oh. And it's the smaller one that people are having trouble with. Really? It seems that's, to be. That's strange. Because uh, this have is the you, older have, one, is it? Have, yeah, this is the older yeah. one. Have you tried uh, giving the larger one to the people who are having trouble? Yeah, I think so. Let me, let me confirm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yay! <laughs> Sorry? So how do I disconnect so others can try? Yeah, so just stop. And so if I upload to this one, how, how do I just, just uh, like curious, how do we upload it? But yeah. we don't need to upload because they want to try it's, it. Uh, it's already uploaded, so now I'm disconnected. Oh, as long as we start, then it is. Uploaded yeah, this. yeah. Okay. So now it's completely disconnected. It's just connected for the power, uh -huh. and it still works. So okay. you can disconnect it and connect it to a so power start outlet. And stop is just to send. Yeah, to send yeah. the data here. Okay, so now it's disconnected. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. Yeah. I just confirmed it. Yeah. It's working. The larger one works. For the me. larger work work. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Except that we've only got a couple of large ones. No, actually, we have more large ones than small ones. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Maybe we can, yeah, we can switch them up. But also, it'd be nice to get them. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, did it work? Uh, it did not work. It didn't work? Uh, it was connected, uh, Wi-Fi connected, but LEDs didn't turn on. Uh, yeah, which so she, which she's, one? She's using this one. Yeah. Just, yeah, so because this yeah, this it's, is the one that's problematic. Yeah, so this this one doesn't have an LED to turn on. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's why. Okay, yeah. so it's working. Then. Yeah, it's working. Okay. Uh, as long as you can connect it to the okay. Wi-Fi, uh -huh. uh, we can. So these guys are trying with the LED. So uh, when they're done, I can because okay. I only have a couple yeah. of breadboards. Okay. So yeah. what, what was that about this person over there? Is Sorry? What, what were you saying about this one? This one doesn't yeah. have an LED, yeah. so, so they, if they try to turn uh, it on... Yeah. So, it was, so it was the code was running, yeah. there's nothing yeah. to run. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> but if you want, you can connect to, to my LED. It's on... Uh, let me check on which one. Yeah. Can you give me your my MCU? Yeah. Uh, yeah, well. yeah, he's gonna try. Uh, so if if you go to JSS2. Dot Mozilla IoT. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Mozilla Dash IoT. Dot org. Yeah, same. Uh, dot com. 
Workshop. Uh, what was the past? Workshop. A workshop. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. So they they just yeah they just disconnected it. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so if you want to, you can. Yeah, sure. Just give it a moment to connect to the Wi-Fi. <laughs> no, we'll try with that. Is it uh, is it visible? It says, it says yeah, it's off. Oh, okay. Is it grayed out? No, it's uh, Okay, can you click? Yeah. Oh, oh now, now, now. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Yes. Okay. Only <laughs> Not working. Uh, yeah, it's, I think it's not connected to the internet yet. Uh, okay. But we can we can actually do it with you. Uh, uh, can with the, the, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah I'll, uh, okay. Okay, but. You need to add uh, pins, go to pins, uh, set digital pin, the third one, no, no, set, the third one, yeah, uh, put it here, Here. yeah, uh, digital pin is 14, and then go to variables, and take on, and put it instead of the green thing, yeah, okay, now uh, connect, Okay, uh, start. You should pop up with the IP address. Yeah. Right? yeah. Mozilla, Mozilla, please. Yeah. No. Sometimes it takes a while. Yeah. What's the Can you try again? Stop. Yeah. Uh, okay. mm. Before this one worked. Yeah. Quickly. I'm not sure why it's not working. Yeah. But, yeah. Maybe there's too many connections? No, only eight devices. So let's go to the browser again. And then 
you can do this. Yeah, light on. Oh. Yay. <laughs> Long time to get one right on. <laughs> yeah. Cool. No, off. So this only connects to your local network. And it doesn't, like, only the, like, this Raspberry Pi or whatever, the, what this thing is on, connects to the open internet. Yeah, so the Raspberry Pi is, yes, is configured yeah. uh, on your home network, mm. and the, all the sensors are also on your home network. Uh -huh. But uh, this page, you can access it from anywhere. Okay. Oh, so, uh, okay, so yeah. the software on the Raspberry Pi allows it to talk to... Um, Oh yeah. Disconnect. Disconnect. Okay, and even when you're disconnected, it, uh, yeah, this, the the, this the code the code is already on the device, ah, okay. so it still works. So it's flashing once and yeah. then after. So it's it still works. It still works. I don't know what happened. It's supposed to still work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to take this. Is this working? No, it doesn't. You want to recognize the device. You want to try this? Well, you can try. Sure. <laughs> سامي عمل شو؟ بس يكون نفس المايكرو بلوكس بنفسه. ايه. إذا بيتف المايكرو بلوكس ما عم يمشي بالجيت واي لحاله. اه. باي. أفرض إذا لمش. That's why he's walking. This one's working, yeah. Try off. Yeah, apparently the the oldest device is working. This is like the really 0.1. Okay, but but. Yeah. We got that one. And one. they had to have the um, they had to brute force the driver to install basically. No, the other one, the one that I borrowed. That's their life. So the small one's working. We this guy can get it working. <laughs> so oh. I might get him to help me with some other people. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And what does he help? Uh, yeah, but it's eight two six six, so it should work. Yeah, because that's just fairly due. So yeah, yeah, eight two six. But there are two eight two six. So the, uh, this one, the small one, yeah. is not working without a driver. But this one's working without the driver. This one? Yeah, the, the older here. one. Yeah, it's working. Is it? It's the same one. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one is the same. No, but it didn't work before. This one or this one? Maybe it's like, wait, wait, wait. So, so this one works? Yeah, yeah, this one works. Yeah, okay. So this, uh, this one works. Yeah. So this is the same. No, no, no. Just plug it in. Okay. Let me try it. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's a cable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, the cable works for me. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's, let's. No, it's, it's. Uh, I think it's this. It's, it's. This is a bad cable, but. Uh, this that one? No, this one. No, no, no. But we also tried with this one. This works fine for me. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, okay. so maybe you were using another Node MCU, the smaller one. No, this is refreshable. But wasn't this the same one that you tried before? No, this one this one was uh, with uh, with Mike. Okay. So where 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 did the, the, the one go from here? Where is this? I don't know. <laughs> but you can you can use either. Okay, can I take this? Yeah, sure. Is that Does anyone else have a small device, the smaller one, and is having trouble with the driver? Is anyone having... Uh, oh, okay, so it's working. Um, but you're not getting an IP. So this is a natural problem. Uh, I think it. 
Oh, here it is. Oh, okay. This is your IP. Okay. Okay. Uh, it was, it was. But so you don't see anything. No, you don't see anything because it doesn't have a light. Okay. But you can see it. Um, can did you go to uh, JS? Which one? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, which one is it? JS four. Okay. So now you go to add by URL, Oops. and you write the IP address. Yeah, you can't copy it. Just. just a second. She's gonna pass these so that you can see. Take the man to show screen. Man, why? Yeah. Yeah. The man with the no small size. Yeah. Man, you're not going to be big. You're not going to be big. Okay, so this this is the device. So you're not you're not actually going to see anything because it doesn't have a light, <laughs> but it's now connected to the. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> but you do have like the small one. The, the ah, the it doesn't have a light. Yeah, yeah so the, the, the same, right? This is the same, same, same but board. yeah, but I connected a light to it. So you can try with this. Okay. So we can unplug the device. Yeah, just go to uh, yeah, connect it and go to microblocks. Okay. Uh, so we need to change the code a bit. So this is connected to pin 14. It's a. Uh, it's. Oh. And okay, 43, 228. Uh, One nine two one six eight forty three two two eight. Can these get me to go into a private club? Two? To a private club. Yeah. What do you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, yeah. yeah. A private cloud. Cloud. Yeah. Yeah. Some of these are not working. Oh, must be connected. Man, finally, I don't need to touch you. Eh, but you have to change the code. But you have to change the code. So, um, you need the output. So there's no additional breadboard, I guess. No, there's no additional. <laughs> I have two breadboards. Um, <laughs> actually, where's the second one? So, um. What, what you're asking is, is can you put it on a private cloud instead of? Yeah, so it's connected to the um, so right now no, but uh, it's connected to the internet, but it's not storing your data outside. So your data is on the Raspberry Pi. Okay. Okay. Stop. Uh, can you click stop? Stop. Okay, so go to um, pins. Second one? Uh, okay, the third one, set digital pin. Uh, yeah, to close it, it doesn't matter. So drag set digital pin to here. Uh, yeah, above, above. Yeah. Okay, uh, set digital pin 14. 14? Mm -hmm. Then go to variables. Variables? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, here. Oh, okay. And uh, drag on. On? Yeah, drag it over the, the green oh, thing. Yeah. No, uh, no, 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 where you were first. Okay. Yeah, yeah, here, yeah. Okay, now start. Okay, uh, connect. Actually, uh, uh, close this. Okay, 
Yeah, so this is your IP. You go to, uh, it's, uh, you can click here, say IP address. Okay, uh, you can't copy it, just... Um, oh, I have to type it. Yeah, so <laughs> go to uh, the gateway, to your browser. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, the one that you're dragging. <laughs> it's, it's on. It's on already. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah. So this is the red lamp. Click on it. Off. It's off. Okay. Okay, thank you. Who is it? Does everyone work for the show? But this is the best thing. Set على الفور تيم بتحطي اون كمان اوكي داز داز اني وان هاف اني بروبلم داز اني وان هاف بروبلم اني وان از هافينج بروبلم از ايفري وان دون Is it? What's that? Is is anyone not done? Is anyone done? <laughs> Who's done? Yeah. Um, yeah. Can you just check if everyone's okay so we can start with multiple? Yeah. Yeah. yeah what's up? So trying this example right now, but uh, we are trying to connect to the Wi-Fi. Uh, this is the Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but you don't, no no you don't, don't have to connect. To you know, no no you just need to connect it here. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think it's like. No. There's a lot of people that are connecting to my hot. <laughs> oh, your wife, your password is wrong. <laughs> Hotspot's getting overwhelmed. <laughs> the next step is to add this device. To the Does this need to be on? Yeah. Oh, since this, since the gateway is on the same network as this, I don't. I could just enter a local. I can't get sure. <laughs> It's difficult to tell whether it's working or not. <laughs> no, uh, it should be fast. So okay. if it's working, it's working. And here you can click, and you can see if it's getting an IP address or not. Big one at the moment. So this guy knows how to install the driver that works for the small one for the big oh, one. Oh, okay, so great. Just getting people. So what was the secret? He knows how to hack it, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Just, why, why wasn't it working? Um, it's the checksum. So basically, yeah. if you install it via Homebrew, the checksum is it's actually wrong. outdated. So you can just edit the cache file and then install it. And it oh, okay. Oh, okay. By the way, can um, is the password for the Mozilla network correct? Because I can't seem to connect using this password. Yeah, yeah, it's correct. But um, I'm having a lot of devices connecting to it. Let's see if I can kick someone out. Okay. Oh, so it's a hotspot on your mobile, mm -hmm. right? So that might be the problem because a lot of people are trying yeah. to connect. How can I kick someone out? I can't. Right? You can what? Kick someone out. Yeah, you can really. Okay. Turn it off yeah, it's gonna mess everything up. <laughs> uh, okay. Bye. It's really nice.
So you have an IP now. Oh, yeah. Oh. One, I two, one, two, three. Uh, okay. So now you go to uh, this? No. Uh -huh. Did you did you open the JS? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Is, is everyone okay? Uh, not yet. Me and Batshi. She's not getting the IP. The model is like 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yeah. So uh, it's not going to light on because it doesn't have a, a light. Yeah. This one doesn't have. Yeah. No light. You can, you can try this. Okay. <laughs> Actually, this is already uh, programmed, so we don't need to pre-program it. We just need to go to JSS uh, two. Ah, I'm under the amlo. I'm not sure. It's the same demo at uh, workshop.
but this one's much closer to your Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Wow, it's just so. Oh, you Okay, good. Then, so what we are doing here is cheaper than here. You want to? Yeah, but in 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 Korea
Ron? Yeah, sure. So now you kind of feel that the IoT development is mostly about like trying to figure out how to get your, uh, you get your things working and set up and drivers installed. And that's pretty much the hardest part. Uh, and you saw that you, with um, uh, microblocks, you can just use this kind of scratch kind of interface that just pull together some, some basic uh, uh, IoT applications connect to a Wi-Fi uh, and even use that device to serve as like a makeshift uh, home automation device, you know, uh, make it a light switch or something like that. Uh, but like we are at JSConf Asia, right? So it's kind of a JavaScript conference and so far you haven't really seen too much JavaScript, uh, which is like, uh, uh, if what if you want to make more more complicated things? A multiple uh, make make block is really uh, micro blocks is really good if you want to get started. If you can want to get something quick out, but as soon as you you know imagine a thousand lines of code, how that translates into a thousand blocks, it gets really out of hand. Um, and obviously, like flexibility is limited by what kind of blocks you have access to, and all of that. So obviously, you would probably want to uh, uh, use your, your skills that you learned in other languages for programming IoT devices. And there are many ways, there are many ways to uh, program uh, microcontrollers. Arduino is the most known one, uh, which you would probably use something like the Arduino IDE and C++ usually um, to program your, 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 um, your microcontrollers. Uh, there are other solutions. There are MicroPython, TinyGo, and all kinds of other languages that ha have their tiny versions. And even JavaScript, if you want to use JavaScript or microcontrollers, there are plenty of ways to do that. Like, uh, um, Esprino or, or JavaScript, all kinds of other languages. Uh, there's also a language, uh, uh, a JavaScript runtime called XS, like extra small, uh, created by the Modable team. Uh, that Mozilla cooperates with. And the cool thing about XS is that they actually created a JavaScript engine that is able to uh, uh, provide you almost perfect uh, compatibility with the JavaScript standard. Um, that means the latest edition, like ES6 and, 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 and further async functions and all the coolest and uh, newest bells and whistles that you can imagine, you can still use them uh, on a microcontroller and still fit your code onto a microcontroller, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, so uh, this XS engine, my modable, uh, actually what they do is they actually focus on microcontroller devices and that means they actually provide you with a bunch of APIs that uh, may, may not even make sense on the web or not even, uh, not, doesn't really make sense 
uh, on a microcontroller in the same form it makes sense on a web. So on the web you use like WebGL or Canvas to uh, create graphics and animations on the DOM to create UIs. Uh, on microcontrollers that have a few hundred uh, pixels uh, size displays or even don't have even displays in the first place or have to have low level access and uh, uh, battery consume, uh, they be conscious about consuming the battery, you need uh, different APIs than a fetch API or something like WebSockets. So they actually provide you access to low level sockets. They actually provide you access to uh, Bluetooth connectivity because some chips come with Bluetooth. Um, and they actually uh, provide you a kind of interface uh, for interacting with graphical displays. Uh, all of this uh, in an open source uh, library that, oops, uh, that you can use. And, uh, oh, ah, there we go. So, uh, whatever, um, blame the German customs, the, uh, we wanted to get some more devices to use so you can actually you not know, just play with the tiny microcontrollers that we have there, uh, but also get some, some connected devices as well. Uh, you've seen uh, Mel demoed how you can just use your microcontroller and use a breadboard or like build, uh, uh, attach other devices uh, to some of the pins and uh, use LEDs or even more complex devices that you can, or sensors that you could communicate with. Uh, uh, I have a device with me and let me see if this is gonna, oh, there you go. So, so I have this device with me. So if you look at this, I'm gonna, this disconnect just for a moment. If you look at this device, this is nothing really, uh, it's nothing, not very different than the, the devices you have been using because it has the same microcontroller chip on it. Uh, it just like kind of plugs into uh, like this hardware, uh, uh, which is like just a glorified breadboard uh, with a screen on top. So this actually has like a screen built into the hardware itself uh, to make it a bit easier uh, to ooh, get an out of the box prototyping experience. So let me try. Yep. Oh God, I just messed up all the pins. So. Uh, sure. That was probably a bad idea to take it off. Oh, there you go. Let's see. Come on. Oh, there we go. So when I plug this back in, you can see that this, this is a device that comes, so the same microchip, the same Wi-Fi control, uh, Wi-Fi uh, connectivity. Also this, uh, the ESP32 device uh, chip is actually Bluetooth compatible, so you also get Bluetooth out of the same, uh, same package. And what you can see here, let me see if I can show you, is actually color, a small color screen. The cool thing about it is that it actually is a touch screen. Wow, this is harder than I expected it to be. Uh, so if I, oh, oh, there you go, I got it. Uh, so you can, actually, um, you can actually have interactions on the screen as well and control the interactions as well as put graphics on it. Uh, so it's pretty cool, um, uh, but how do you program it, right? Uh, the, the easy way is supposed to be um, a, Online IDE, uh, very similar to what you just saw uh, with microblocks. Let me see if I can open it up. Nope, there we go. Yeah, so uh, there is a work in progress uh, uh, online IDE. Uh, it kind of sort of looks like Visual Studio Code if you look at it uh, and squint a bit. Uh, but uh, there, there is an uh, online IDE in progress. The problem with the uh, online IDE is that it actually uses WebUSB. Uh, WebUSB is currently only supported by Chrome, and even by Chrome it's barely supported. I couldn't get it working on my uh, Linux machine for half a day, so I kind of give it up, uh, but I'm still gonna show you. So ideally, uh, the online IDE, uh, when it gets uh, to a bit more stable, 
uh, will get you uh, like a kind of easy startup, but also this could be used uh, if you compile it to like an Electron app, you can use it as like a local uh, device app. But also you can just write the JavaScript and use the modable SDK, which is what I'm going to be using uh, to flesh the device with, with the JavaScript code there. Uh, the, that you want to see on the device. Uh, so uh, this is a very simple example that I put in here just so that you can kind of have an idea uh, for how do you put code on the device. It's very easy. Um, you just use the same exact JavaScript that you would be using online. Uh, it has import statements. It has a few built-in modules. Uh, that you can get some network connectivity and some APIs that you wouldn't normally find on the web or Node.js, uh, like a network socket or, or something like that, that you can actually use to, to make network connectivity on the device. And, and the rest is just plain JavaScript as you would, as you would, as you would use it normally. So, so I already shown you like the, oops, no, 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 no. Where is the, where is the demo? Yeah. So let me make, make, make my face a bit bigger. Uh, so I already shown you ooh, uh, the, uh, like the draggable demo. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to put some uh, more interesting UI on here. Uh, 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 oh, not here. Here. And. And I'm going to flash this with the mini weather example. So if you actually go to uh, the modable uh, open source re uh, repo, you will actually find the tons of examples that, you know, it's super easy to get started. So it is flashing. Da, da, da. Yeah, it's loading. And you rolling, loading, loading. If we have Wi-Fi, this is going to work eventually. We might not have Wi-Fi, so at that point, it's not going to work. Oh, come on. T today is not a big, uh, not a good, the demo gods are not really on us. Oh, yes, because this is the weather without the Wi-Fi connection. Ah, this is, this is better. Okay, so compiling again. Yeah, it's flashing the device, so it's going to restart in a moment. And the glare is not helping us a lot. So, did it work? Did it work? Come on. Ah, oh, they're loading. Okay. That's, ah, there we go. So, are you, you're not going to see because of the glare? is that we have this fancy user interface for like a weather kind of thing. So you can have like a uh, weather display that you, know, you can connect to, uh, it connects to the internet, pulls in the data, and like shows you, you, know, you should bring an umbrella today. Uh, another interesting thing I wanted to show you is a showcase a bit more of the uh, Wi-Fi, uh, more of the, you know, you can use these like small devices scattered around your home as like kind of like a home automation or home control device. And you know, it's flashing again. And this is another application that is also like a few hundred lines of JavaScript only. And what you're going to see is, is it actually shows a much nicer interface for your Wi-Fi connection. So I'm going to click on one of those, eh, 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 or not. Uh, I'm going to click on it, but you're not going to see what I'm clicking on. Oh, there we go. And you're going to see it shows like a little like keyboard, so I can input like the Wi-Fi password or something. So you can build self-contained applications right into into uh, the UI of this device. And just one more last, one last more demo uh, that to kind of wrap it all up, that one. Uh, you can also have uh, applications that tie straight into the Mozilla Web Things gateway. So when you have all kinds of other devices scattered in your home, you have lights and whatever, 
you can also, and this is what I just mentioned, is you can also build your own. So, oops. So what you're gonna see is like a switch uh, that you can just you know turn on and off, like just like you did with with other devices. But instead of you know, obviously you would want to do this like from a central location from your phone, but maybe you want to have like like uh, t a tiny control panels, you know, uh, in your house as well. So people who don't have access to the gateway directly, you can expose functionality of your smart home via these tiny small displays. Um, the, one of the biggest appeal of the ESP devices, so this, this chip, this microcontroller, the powers, the, this, this whole build up, is their inexpensiveness. Uh, the ESP8266, the, some of the devices you have been using, uh, is literally a few dollars if you uh, order it quantity. Uh, and the ESP32, the one that has Bluetooth support and which is a bit faster and newer, uh, is just a few more dollars. Uh, this whole uh, screen assembly is being sold for uh, about $20, uh, US dollars that is. Uh, so you could imagine that it, you, it wouldn't break the bank if you wanted to scatter some of these smart uh, controllers or devices around your home and you could uh, you could program them uh, whatever you would like to do. Again, uh, just as with anything else in the muzzle of F things thing, this is not, you're not bound by, you know, the crappy software and apps that ship, uh, ships with all the devices that you have at home. Uh, you can do, uh, you can make your own and you can make sure it's open source. Uh, you can use somebody else's, you can customize your own experiences instead of having to you know, pull your hair out trying to set up a smart camera that you just paid $200 for. Uh, so yeah, so uh, just to wrap, yeah, you don't really want to see my face too much. Uh, just to wrap this all up, uh, you can use uh, the Mozilla Gateway as a kind of like a private source for uh, or like a private you know, center of your home uh, automation devices. And you can use like all kinds of devices, proprietary ones uh, that you bought off. There is a lot of add-ons, so you can tie those into the smart net, but also build your own devices, whether you want to do some simple like switches and, and stuff that you just want to um, kind of you know, just uh, put together quickly, or if you want to build more elaborate, like control devices and sensors uh, right into uh, uh, the rooms or, or the, uh, the space itself, you can also do that with JavaScript without having to learn or, you know, uh, worry about uh, C++ and, you know, memory uh, segmentation faults and all kinds of other problems. As soon as you can set up, you know, your computer to kind of accept the USB connection, which seems to be probably the hardest part of the whole thing. I think, I think we are done, right? Yeah. If anyone has any questions. Yeah. If uh, if you have any questions, we are we are here still. We're going to be starting to set up for for the next group, but feel free to ask us. And thank you for joining.